as a master love song creator, I have to ask you about someone else I worship as a love song creator, Al Green. Is there any influence or uh, uh, stories about Al Green you have? Well, first of all, your compliment is extremely uh, over the top, but thank you very <laughs> that's much. The, that's, thank you that's, very that's, much. That's, flattery is my specialty. I really appreciate it. <laughs> flattery is usually the first course of a five-course meal. But anyway... <laughs> which we will pay for naturally. Um, I have a great, great, great anecdote about the Master Al, who is a huge influence on not just myself, but just a ton of us. Um, I can remember doing a, a festival in Liverpool, one of the spiritual cities of the world, um, uh, a concert for Master John Lennon's memory, and he was a part of it. It was, were many, many, many other great artists that I was very impressed by. But because our sound checks were back to back, uh, during sound check, the production had us picked up at the same time in this car. So this is my chance, just me and the great Master Al Green, um, which I spell O-W-L, Al Green, because he's just so wise. <laughs> and I said, I, I, said I, I, I said to something that a 27-year-old asked, to a great master, I said, I said, why are you so happy? Because he was, he was just so happy going, he was so happy, his spirit was just so positive and, and just contagious and I was almost embarrassed because I thought artists were supposed to be brooding and you know, like difficult and all this kind of stuff, basically my own nature. Um, and he said to me something that I'll never forget and even though it was maybe over 25 years ago, or roughly 25 years ago. Not that I'm much older than 25 myself. <laughs> but um, he said something profound to me. He said, son, I'm happy because every day I wake up and I choose to be happy. Whoa. I was like blown away. Wait. <laughs> rewind, rewind. What, excuse me? What did you just say? I said, son, I'm happy because every day I wake up and I make a decision that I will be happy today. And I thought, wait, huh? You can choose to be happy? You can choose happiness? And I was stunned, even though I thought, of course, as a 27, 26 year old man at the time, that I knew everything. Um, I still don't deny that I knew everything, but I was just wrong about it. Um, but I was stunned by that because it was the first time a maestro had said that happiness is a choice and you can take, you can choose to be identified with what's miserable about life and there's more than enough that you can choose as any type of man or woman to use the verification of your misery. Or you can choose, I'm going to be happy regardless. It's a flood today, but I'm still going to put my boots. I'm still going to wait in the water. I'm still going to choose to be happy. I'm still going to catch my catfish. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's my Al Green story. And, and as a person who's influenced me tremendously as an artist, not just as a singer, but as an artist, as a genius, um, uh, I, I'm certainly very grateful that he also was able to enlighten me as to the fact that no matter how much we may depend on spirit and how much we may depend on the Lord or on God, we, in our religion, in our faith, in our practices, we still have a choice to actively embrace the concept that we wish to embody in our life. If you want to be happy, then be happy.